In the last video, you learned about some of Outlook's basic capabilities. You learned how to set up your task, create meeting invites, and check people's availability. So the next thing I want to show you is how to set up rules. Rule sets allow you to kind of direct the traffic of your email automatically so that you're not having to work things out manually. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's say you um, receive a vulnerability report on a weekly basis. You don't necessarily want to delete them. But you don't want them clogging up your inbox folder either, right? Once they come in, you kind of want them put to the side into a separate folder so that you can access them later on or whenever you feel like it. All right. So let's say this is the email. Now you know that the subject line always reads weekly vulnerability report. So let's go ahead and copy that. Now we want to set up our rules. So let's go ahead and select rules. We want to create a rule for this subject line, weekly vulnerability report. When I get an email with a subject that contains weekly vulnerability report, now the action that you want taken, we want it to move to a specific folder, right? So now we have all these folders that are already kind of set by default for us, right? But I want a new folder. So I'm going to go to my root folder, which is my test account. I'm going to select new. I'm going to call it vulnerability report you can call it whatever you want and select OK and over here you can see it it just came up and it's right there as well so I'm going to select OK now I can select OK and from here on anytime I get an email with the subject line weekly vulnerability report it will automatically move it to this folder but if I want to address all emails past and future then I'll go ahead and select advanced options and my rule set has already been set here so I'll select next next it's the same rule set we just talked about here's a summary of it next and the key part is run this rule now on messages already in inbox and we'll select finish alright you can see that email is now gone why because it's now here Yep, and there it is. I'm going to go ahead and send the test account another one of those emails, and you'll see it automatically go into this folder. And now we've got two, right? So anytime you get those emails, it automatically goes into the folder of my choice. And you can also create additional folders anytime you want. You don't have to have rule set. You just right click here and you um, select um, new folder. Okay. So there are many, many things that you can do with Outlook. Okay. All right. Can I show you one more thing about Outlook? I want to show you how to filter conversations. I use the feature quite often. It'll be quick, promise. Okay. Let's say I just got all these emails, right? Different subjects. I basically just forwarded a whole bunch of my um, spam mail. So you've got all these emails, right? And the one that you really want to find is the one that's talking about the birthday planning for Elvis. That's one that you want to isolate. So you just simply right click it and then you would say find related messages in this conversation. If you just want to find emails from the same person, you say messages from sender. But messages and conversation will actually isolate the conversation that you're having. So now you can actually see everything pertaining to that subject, to that email subject. So, um, yeah, that's it. If there's anything that you'd like to see that I've not shown in this video, definitely um, send me a comment and I'll be more than happy to, you know, give you guys a tutorial. And always remember, Google is your friend. Look it up and there's lots of different information out there on the World Wide Web. In the next video, I'm going to show you some cool features of SharePoint. That's going to be interesting. Stay tuned for that.